I kind of searched high and low for somebody to run this massive garden that I've got on the restaurant and uh, I, I had no clue what to do and I found this amazing NGO Soul for Life to uh, and asked them please can you help me with the running of our garden and you know somehow we can build a relationship and you run the garden um, the chefs then are responsible for harvesting and looking after the garden and and uh, soul for life maintain and, and plant and we went uh, to to go meet with soul for life and we met pat and uh, here's this bubbly lady and uh, she's got more life in her than you imagine and uh, she she was really really interested in with the drop of a hat she said yeah sure we'll help you with the garden no problem you know, they, they've done about four thousand six hundred community gardens um, where they you know giving people new life new hope um, and uh, even if it's little by little uh, it makes a difference uh, one house can spread into one house garden can spread into two three four other houses um, because they see what people are able to do in with nothing with with bathtubs and broken fridges and uh, you know broken old pots and pans and they make gardens in anything and uh, yeah, it makes a difference. So, so for life run out run out uh, our little herb and uh, our, our garden at uh, Boken Sancha uh, at the chef's warehouse. It's a, it's a very very small uh, garden and, and they look after it weekly and um, this is our way of giving back to them um, you know it is our way of giving uh, giving back to them and them giving back to the community. Um, so full circle, yeah. I'm Pat Featherston, founding director of Soil for Life. I realized quite a long time ago that there was a huge amount of poverty and malnutrition in Western Cape, in fact in South Africa. I think Soil for Life was born out of that, actually trying to nurture the environment and try to nurture the people in the environment. We train people in their own homes to grow their own safe fresh food. We operate three cycles a year and we train over 800 people. 5,000 kitchen gardens that have been started, home food gardens that have been started since 2008. Our home food gardeners get have to pay 15 Rand to come on the course and for that they get their booklets, their training and they get a certain amount of seed, seedlings and compost. So money raised by this event will essentially be going towards our home food gardening program. We have to teach them how to save their seeds so that they've got, they can carry on into the beginning. We have to teach them how to compost, how to make compost so that they can actually compost their gardens. So the whole thing means that each garden becomes completely sustainable in itself. Hi, I'm Farida Abrams. I'm living in Westridge, Michelle's Plain. Hi, I'm Owina and at the moment we are in Portland. I'm Doria Gabriel from Mitchell's Plain. Soil for Life taught me that greens are not just, not just greens. Greens, all these leaves we can eat. I never knew that we can eat those leaves. For me, Soil for Life has worked wonderfully. I basically started my garden. I fed my family with it and from there I started like giving to neighbors and stuff and from there I actually started my own business also. So for life changed my life. It uh, gave me something extra. I was uh, without a job and nothing to do, no kids. And then I had this new thing that I'm doing now, uh, working in the garden, meeting friends, um, having a whole new life. It's a whole new energy, a whole new beginning for me. So for Life taught me that with a little, I can do a lot. So for Life brought life into me again. I can talk to people, I feel confident, I feel happy and I'm great. <laughs> So we had an idea. We 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 had an idea. Soil for life in us. We we thought, well, let's do let's do a dinner. Let's do something to to uh, showcase what soil for life is about and and to to help. So the night is definitely not about us. It's it's about helping them. And uh, and and we're gonna cook some badass chef's warehouse food. 
with a lot of their produce, a lot of their incredible produce from their little garden and from our garden. And uh, it's about just cooking rad, awesome, tasty food uh, and good wine um, and, and, and having a great evening in, in aid of a fantastic cause that, that helps so many people. And we do this event once a year and uh, that's your only chance to, to come and experience what they're about. So come and do it.